Welcome to Jam Online. So good to see you today. Woo! Today, we're talking about gratitude, being thankful. It's really important that we live every day with a grateful heart. Grateful uh, to God and grateful to our family and the friends that are around us and grateful that God loves us and He has forgiven us and that we belong to Him. It's really important to have a heart of gratefulness, a heart of thankfulness. And today, we're going to start off by worshipping God. Are you ready? So good to see you at Jam today. Hi everyone. Let's sing, dance and worship God. Everyone, right now, hmm, let's talk to the jam team and ask them about gratitude and see what they say. Hey, Bez, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for Extreme Life Church, it's such a great church family to be part of that we can be together and praise Jesus. Hey, Joel, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for a good place to live in a safe country. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for a loving family. Hey Whippy, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful that Jesus loves me. And I'm thankful for all of you jammers. Hi Tom, what are you thankful for? Hmm, I'm thankful for so many things, but I can think of the freedom that Jesus gives me and the joy that he gives me, that if we're going through a good time or a bad time, I'm free, so good. Thanks, Jam, guys! Oh, 
<laughs> hey Janice, we have a really, really exciting thing we're gonna do. We're going to make some gifts for some very special friends to let them know that we see them and that God loves them and that we value them. What we're gonna ask everyone to do is to draw a picture or write a card or do a coloring in and we're gonna collect them all up and we're gonna take them to an old people's home where they ha haven't been able to have many visitors, but we can let them know that we see them and that God loves them by drawing them a picture or making them a card or I made a window flower. So what you do is you cut out the pieces of paper and write a special message on there. This one says, thank you for being you and they can stick it in the window. So if you'd like to make one of these, Or do a colouring in. This week I would encourage you to do that and get it to me at the church so I can get it ready to give to Alison so she can take it to the old people's home to let the people there know that we value them and that we see them and that God loves them. Thanks guys. Hi guys, this is Bez here, and today on Jam, we're talking about gratitude. Now what does that mean? Well, it simply means that we're thankful, and that's for both the good things and the bad things. Now in Jesus' time, there was a lot of sick people, and he healed many of them. And today, we're going to hear about one of those times when he healed 10 lepers. So let's go check it out. Now in those days, Jesus went from town to town preaching the good news. Ew. Now back in those days there was this terrible disease called leprosy which gave you terrible sores and slowly ate away at your body. In fact, it was so bad if you had leprosy you had to live outside the town. Because as Jesus left this town, he saw ten lepers that were living outside. And they saw him too. Let's go see Jesus, maybe he can hear us. So they shuffled over to Jesus and said, Master, have pity on us, please heal us. Be healed, go and see the priest to see if you are well. Now, the lepers, they weren't quite well yet, but they did as Jesus said. Then as they were going, all of a sudden, BAM! They were healed. And they went to see the high priest. Now, one of the lepers was so excited, they ran back to see Jesus, who was already gone on the way. Master, thank you for healing us. Where are the other nine? Were there not ten of you? See, only one of them expressed gratitude for being healed. Jesus wants us to express gratitude and thankfulness, especially when good things happen, and to give praise to God. Hmm, have you got your Bible handy? Are you ready to do the 60 second Bible scripture challenge? <gasps> well, get ready, because it's time now. Right, right now. Are you ready? Quick, get your Bible. Quick! Because... It's time. Now. <laughs> oh, I sounded like a cat. <laughs> now. I mean, now. <laughs> Quick, grab the big rescue Bible because it's now time to play the 60 second scripture. Find. Okay, grab your Bibles because today we're going to look up a scripture. Are you ready? You have 60 seconds to look it up and see if you can beat the clock. Today's scripture is... Psalm 107 verse 1. Your time starts now.
Psalm 107 verse 1. Shout praises to the Lord. He is good to us and his love never fails. what time it is do you know you know it's Jimmy time I wonder what Jimmy's thinking about today Hi, I'm Jimmy. I wonder what I'm thinking about today. What is an attitude of gratitude? God wants me to live a life of thankfulness. God wants me to live a life of gratefulness. What does the Bible say? Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34 I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all the marvellous things you have done. Psalm 9, verse 1. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18 says, Always be joyful and never stop praying. Whatever happens, keep thanking God because of Jesus Christ. This is what God wants you to do. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Keep thanking God, because this is what God wants me to do. Wow! Jesus is our example of how to live this life. Jesus lived thankful, and he gave thanks to God all of the time. In John chapter 6, when Jesus was feeding the 5,000 people with five small bread rolls and two fish, this is what happened. John chapter 6 verse 11. Jesus took the bread in his hands and gave thanks to God. Then he passed the bread to the people, and he did the same with the fish until everyone had plenty to eat. Jesus thanked God for what they had, and God multiplied it so everyone could be fed. Living thankful has amazing benefits for our lives, but living with a negative heart and a bad attitude will wear us down and wear us out. It will make us miserable. Sometimes we get cloudy in our thinking and in our attitudes. We forget to be thankful for what God has done and for what God has provided. We start to get negative in the way we see things and even how we speak. And that's not how God wants us to live. Some bad fruit words. I hate. I can't. I won't. How do I overcome these cloudy grey thoughts? By choosing to live thankful. By choosing to live grateful. By choosing to trust God and to know that He is with me and He will help me. I can pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help me see things the way God sees things. I can get God's encouragement by finding God's promises in the Bible. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 Christ gives me the strength to face anything. Jesus tells us that he will be with us so this can make us glad, happy and confident that whatever we face we can trust in him. Good fruit words. With God's help I will show love. With God's help I can. With God's help I will. God calls us to rejoice in him, to live thankful all of the time that he loves us and that we are his kids. Philippians 4 verse 4 Always be glad because of the Lord. I will say it again, be glad. When I live with a grateful heart, God fills my life with his love and purpose. My heart and my mind come into line with what God has said And this helps me experience God's peace. So let's all be people who live lives of gratitude to God. Being thankful 
that we are friends with Jesus and that he has freed us from the penalty of our sins. Thankful that we can be friends with God and thankful that we can know him and live for him. Let's have an attitude of gratitude. That's how I'm going to live. I'm going to live thankful to God every day. I'm going to have an attitude of gratitude. And I'm going to remember to tell God how much I love him and how thankful I I am for everything he's done and everything he's doing. And I'm going to tell everyone else that God is amazing. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Time for some fun. Do try this at home. Today we're going to make Clinker Slice. I can sing, I will sing for you. I will sing and praise your name. Give you glory, shout your praise. I can sing, I will sing for you. I will sing and praise your name. Give you glory, shout your praise. Jesus, 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 I'm gonna shout your praise. Jesus, 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 I'm gonna shout your praise. I will clap, clap my hands for you. I will clap and praise your name. Give you glory, shout your praise. I will clap. Clap my hands for you I will clap and praise your name Give you glory, shout your praise Jesus, Jesus, Jesus I'm gonna shout your praise Jesus, Jesus, Jesus I'm gonna shout your praise I will jump, I will jump for you I will jump and praise your name Give you glory, shout your praise I will jump, I will jump for you I will jump and praise your name Give you glory, shout your praise Jesus, Jesus, Jesus I'm gonna shout your praise Jesus, Jesus Jesus, I'm gonna shout your praise. I will spin, I will spin for you. I will spin and praise your name. Give you glory, shout your praise. I will spin, I will spin for you. I will spin and praise your name. Give you glory, shout your praise. Awesome! Today, we're going to see a story, a cartoon story, about a character who was in the Bible, who mm, was a bit of a meanie until he met Jesus. And then his heart was filled with so much love and gratitude to, to Jesus that his life changed. His life changed because of God and with the goodness of Jesus. And because he met with Jesus, his heart was changed and he now lived with a heart of thankfulness and gratefulness. Let's see what happens. Check this out. Zacchaeus. Let's meet Zacchaeus. Hey there. Who was a tax collector in Jericho. He had lots of money, but not many friends though. One day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was in town. What's going on? Jesus is here! Woohoo! But he was short and couldn't see over the crowd. Hey, excuse me. Hey, watch where you're going. So Zacchaeus climbed up into a sycamore tree and waited for Jesus to pass by for him to see. Oh, hey there, friend. Who? Me? Yeah, you. Jesus saw Zacchaeus and said, Come down, let's have dinner. Oh, all right. The people were mad and said, Zacchaeus is a sinner. 
Zacchaeus told Jesus he would change his ways for all to see. Jesus said that Zacchaeus was saved and a part of God's family. Wow, Zacchaeus was so thankful for what Jesus had done for him in forgiving him that his he changed his whole life. He gave back to everyone who he'd stolen from. And he became a blessing to everyone around him because he was so filled with gratitude and love towards Jesus. It changed every part of his life. That's how Jesus wants you and me to live. As God shows us his goodness and it changes us from the inside out, we are so filled with gratitude towards God that it will then change the way we treat the people that are around us. When we know that God is gracious towards me, I will be gracious towards others. When I know that God forgives me, I will forgive others. When I know that God shows his love to me, then I will show his love to the people that are around me too. To have a heart that's grateful to God is a really important place to be. Because when we are grateful to God and we are thankful to God, we can then treat other people the same way that God treats us. Oh, and then they will know that we are his disciples because of his love shining through our lives. Wow, what a great lesson today. I know this week you're going to have opportunities where you can be grateful and thankful, where you can say, thank you, God, for this blessing. Thank you, God, that you look after me. Thank you, God, for my family. Thank you, God, for all the wonderful things you've done. And then you can let other people know how good God is. And when we do that, they have a chance to know the goodness of God too in their lives by becoming friends with Jesus and knowing God's love. <laughs> Thanks everyone for being part of Jam Online today. We'll see you next week. Bye! your name give you glory shout your praise I can sing I will sing for you I will sing and praise your name give you glory shout your praise Jesus 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 I'm gonna shout your praise Jesus 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 I'm gonna shout your praise Clap my hands for you I will clap and praise your name Give you glory, shout your praise I will clap, clap my hands for you I will clap and praise your name Give you glory, shout your praise Jesus, Jesus, Jesus I'm gonna shout your praise Jesus Jesus, Jesus, I'm going to shout your praise. I will jump, I will jump for you. I will jump and praise your name. Give you glory, shout your praise. I will jump, I will jump for you. I will jump and praise your name. Give you glory, shout your praise. Jesus, 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 I'm gonna shout your praise. Jesus, 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 I'm gonna shout your praise. I will spin, I will spin for you. I will spin and praise your name. Give you glory, shout your praise. I will spin, I will spin for you. I will spin and praise your name. Give you glory, shout your praise. Jesus, 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 I'm gonna shout your praise. Jesus, 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 I'm gonna shout your praise. 
I will run, I will run for you. I will run and praise your name, give you glory, shout your praise. I will run, I will run for you. I will run and praise your name, give you glory, shout your praise. Jesus, 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 I'm going to shout your praise. Jesus, 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 I'm going to shout your praise. Jesus, 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 I'm going to shout your praise. Jesus, 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 I'm going to shout your praise.